Good morning. Today is Tuesday, June 8th, 2010, and this is being filmed at location in Old Shincracker, Vermont. You're looking at a working Atwater Kent breadboard model 10C series 4700, which will be listed on eBay in the very near future. This radio was found in its original Atwater Kent shipping crate where it lay undisturbed for perhaps 70 to 75 years. It is a genuine time capsule. This is a picture of the crate that it was shipped in. Let's see if I can adjust it so it's a little clearer for you. And I'm going to zoom in on it. So you can see the old Atwater Kent factory label. Well, this is a picture of the inside of the packing crate where you can see the shipping tubes and the straw that was used to package everything, make it safe in transit. This is a picture of the inside top of the box, the shipping crate, and this is a you're viewing a uh, tag that was supposed to go on the power supply cord which the new owner that purchased it never bothered to do. So there it is, intact. And this is the address that it was shipped to in Oregon. And this is what it would look like from a distance. And there's your shipping, top of the shipping crate. And another tag for shipping to Sunset Garage in Portland, Oregon. Uh, this is the paperwork that was shipped with the original container. You're looking on the left side, the lighter colored document is the horn instructions. So I'll come up to that. Atwater Kent loudspeaker and the Atwater Kent radio instruction book volume one showing how to hook up your antennas and how to hook up the breadboard, the various ones including the 10C. Now this is the horn this is a picture of the new owner's radio log, Atwater Kent radio log, which is also included, and it shows the various stations he's list he listened to at the time. Pull in there a little bit. There's all his markings of where the dial settings were and the call signs of the stations. This is the Atwater Kent Model 10C receiving set instruction book that came with it. Let's see if we can pull in closer. Installation and operation. Now this is an Atwater Kent broadside showing the Model 10 receiving set and the various parts that and um, accessories that Atwater Kent would sell at the time. You can see here that the Atwater Kent originally was purchased for, I think, $88. Let me pull it up. Okay, which was a substantial sum at that time. And that is the front side, and now I'm going to reverse it for the rear side. Okay, and this is a the rear side of the uh, of the advertising. I'm pulling it a little closer. Let's see if we can get it. It's hard to photograph this stuff. But you can see all their various parts and their variometers.
really an attractive uh, advertisement. Now uh, this is an image of the power supply manufactured by Atwater Kent. Uh, this actually did not come with the package. This is something I acquired about five years ago and it has been fully updated, solid stated, so it no longer needs a six volt car battery. Uh, generally they kept these on the floor out of sight. You can see that. And that's how it's being powered. There are four wires from the breadboard and this thing runs quiet and silently and should last for years and years. So, now we'll go on to the breadboard itself. Here's a picture of the breadboard. We'll pull it in closer. Okay, and now for demonstrating how it picks up radio signals. I think the first station that I have already tuned in is um, Boston. And we'll just check that. Pull the switch. The proceeding was a weekly test of the emergency alert system. WBZ serves the eastern Massachusetts area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. No cheap window with a bait and switch price. No high pressure sales pitch on an overpriced window. Call right window. Energy now Star we'll try and uh, tune it in for a different station. No games or gimmicks. You really right should window, read the manuals on these things. Um, there are about six different adjustments. It's actually rather loud. And that's your volume control. So let's try. That was WBZ in Boston, and uh, let's try um, we'll change this to about a mid-tap. You notice that it goes down, you don't hear anything. One of the things about these radios is when you first turn them on, if you think they don't work at all, they're completely silent, you really have to tune them in. So we're going to go turn this to here, and I wrote them down because they're very touchy to find. Okay, there's WGIR in New Hampshire. Terrorists, and yet they're claiming to be a peace organization. And um, let's try one more. WCR. Which is mid. Mid. And go to 60 on the dial here. 32. And you notice you don't hear anything until you get to this last one. Sounds expensive. Yeah, it just looks expensive. I also built those stone planters. Put down the anchor to stone, laid that stone walkway out to my garden. Wow, look at that. And there you go. And this controls the volume, as I said before. And this also can control the volume somewhere. It's more for the detector. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. You can see that it works extremely well, and it should. After all, it's practically brand new.